While Elon Musk begged us to make it to Mars before nuking our own society, we probably missed air travel for the elite, the Aussies' first firefighting robot, and lotus leaf-inspired water repellent. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where dealing with wet weather might soon mean not looking like a complete asshat. Unless you're doing a live shot during a hurricane, then no clothing can help you. Hold on! It doesn't help if you're sick. <coughs> Hey guys, if you're tired of wearing nothing less than head-to-toe opposite sex repellent when it rains, science may soon have the answer. Rice University scientists just engineered a new kind of water repellent coating that is modeled on the lotus leaf, making up a whole new class of super hydrophobic nanomaterials. One coating and hey presto, this cardboard won't get soggy. It's inexpensive and hopefully coming to normal looking clothes near you one day soon. Or just wear this. This is the lone exception. Australia just got its first remotely controlled firefighting robot, the TAP-20, which should help it fight summertime wildfires, which is important because the world needs all the koalas it can get. The bot is equipped with bulldozer blades and powerful fans to push cars and smoke out of the way. The quarter million dollar firefighter can shoot a fine foam mist up to 60 feet or fire its water cannon up to 90, all while keeping its operator a safe distance away from the flames. What do you do if you have millions or hopefully billions of dollars in flying in your first class cabin for international flights for tens of thousands of dollars just isn't special enough? I know, believe me. That's why aerospace engineering company Windspeed is working on this. The upgraded aircraft with sky deck seating for the discerning flyer. The dome up top is supposedly as strong as the rest of the plane, so go ahead and get it, Richie Rich. I'd imagine those seats would feel like this. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. And finally, a student at New York University built a robot designed to read her sweaty palms to determine interest in potential Tinder matches. You're not very picky, are you? You can tell the inventor is a woman because it's a slow and thoughtful process. I don't think I need to say who came up with the piece of meat that just always swipes right. Sorry not sorry for the sexism, I am sorry for the voice. <laughs>